in this sentence equivalence question, we have a sentence shift going on here. We start off with once, the very beginning. So once this person stepped down, once he did this, then he changed. Well, before he stepped down, what was he? Well, he had these daring blank speeches. So a word that is somewhat similar to daring, this is an example of apposition, is going to go into that blank. But really what's that word going to be let's look down deeper into the sentence because with the sentence shift it only happens after he steps down so once he stepped down what happened well he became considerate so that's interesting became considerate to politicians he had just slandered in the speech so he's a nice guy and during the speech well what was he doing he was not only daring but he was slandering so he's just slandered people when he was up there hence the fact they're baying applause from members of the audience. So what word means slandering someone? So we start with a florid means full of decoration, doesn't make any sense here. Defamatory, well, you're defaming someone, you're slandering them, that's perfect. Calumnious, let's assume this is the word you do not know. Put a question mark there. Inveigling, it's also a difficult word. So let's put a blank right there, or a question mark right there. Timorous, you should know, it's a relatively common GRE word, which means shy. Obviously, he was anything but shy. And there's diffident, which also means shy and lacking confidence. Notice the pair of synonyms down here at the bottom, but they're actually opposite of what's going on. He was daring and slandering in this case. So which answer is it? Well, there is a word here. If we go down to D, which is inveigling, there's a word that is inveighing. To invade is to speak out against. Inveigling or to inveigle is to coax someone. So that word is very different from what we're going for here. We're going for slandering. Invade is more any way to censure or criticize somebody harshly. So that doesn't quite work here. And of course, C, calumnious is the answer. And that comes from the word calumny, which actually isn't that obscure of a Jerry word. It's a pretty common word. It's the verb form, though. This is not verb form, the adjective form. Right here we have calumny, that's noun, but it's this adjective form that is less common. So the answer here is C and B.